Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kat. Um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. My name is Kathy. So today I will be showing you guys how I do my sleep bun. This video is a highly requested video, like since who knows when. Today I'm gonna do a middle part, but I will be doing like a side part in another video. So if you guys want to see how I do my side parts, um, let let me know down below. So my texture, I I believe I have a, I don't know, I think I have a three. It's either three B, three C, and a four A. Like, and that's it. It's nowhere higher and it's nowhere lower so now i know that there's a lot of different textures in the natural community y'all know like three c's and four a's or whatever this tutorial is going to be for everybody like even if you have a four c you can still do what i'm doing all right now i'm about to change your life because i've been doing my sleep buns so wrong and i recently kind of switched it up to see how i could get my buns to look more sleek down and i found a way and i'm so excited i might just do a talk through just to kind of like get to the point and i will show you guys what you need and all that good stuff so bye guys what you would need is a comb and a brush i use eco styling gel and got to be glue as my base gel and i also use gorilla snot i didn't post it on here and you need about three to four rubber bands and your edge brush of course and obviously your hair bun you don't need this but i just choose to use it and of course your scarf okay guys so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is part your hair of course and i'm parting mine in the middle and my middle part is not that straight but it's okay then you want to part it this way and then you want to take that little section and kind of braid it or twist it just to try to get it out of the way and you want to do the same thing on this side as well just part it and then braid it or twist it just to get it out the way and this is how it's supposed to look two braids or twist in the front and then the back is out if you follow the same step i'm doing this is how it's supposed to look just take your time we're gonna do it step by step so we can get where you were trying to go and yeah let's move on to the next step so the next part is you want to section the back out as well so I'm going to start with the bottom and the reason why I do that is because you want to have a very sleek and flat look. Usually whenever I just throw my entire hair in one ponytail, it doesn't it don't look really neat in a way. Like it looks good, but it don't look as flat and sleek as I want it to. So that's what I'm basically doing now. I'm taking the bottom half of the section and I'm just kind of combing it and I'm taking my base gel which is the Gorilla Snot and Eco Styling Gel and I'm basically laying the hair down and you can see it as well here. So this is what you want to do and then I'm just going to brush it, comb it, do whatever I need to do to get it sleek. And you want to tie that all together with a rubber band. Now I'm basically doing the same thing, but just making layers of it. So the point of doing it layered is to kind of work in small sections so that each hair is coated with gel so that your hair or your ponytail could look very sleek. 
and that's basically what I'm doing I'm doing the same step like I did with the other well with the bottom one and pretty much it I'm gonna just speed this up and y'all could just see it I'm literally doing the same thing and all that we reach to the crown of our head again we're working in sections and layers if you want to say and we're doing the same thing so I basically did this all three times um a disclaimer your girl used a lot of gel so I apologize if you want to minimize the gel that you put in your hair you could do that but I just like to use a lot of gel. This is the end result of the back. So we got the back sleek down and all that. Okay, so now we're at the very front of our hair. And for this side, again, we're doing layers. As you can see, I just kind of split that one part. And I'm putting, you know, my Eco Styling Gel, my Gorilla Snot, you know, trying to get it sleeked or whatever taking my comb my brush just trying to do whatever i could do to get my hair to be sleeked okay that's the goal <laughs> um so now i'm just doing that section like the top of the section so at this point what i'm trying to get to you guys is do things in sec section that is one thing i didn't do before i used to just kind of slap the gel on top of my hair and try to attempt to get my hair to be as sleek but it just it wasn't working but this method guys i'm telling you just do what i say and your hair is going to be sleek it don't matter if you have a 4c hair it doesn't matter your hair will be sleek you want to do the same thing on this side work in layers so that your hair could be flat and sleek and neat okay that's that's the goal um yeah guys i was so upset that i was put on to this method so late and this whole time my bun was not as flat as I wanted to be because I was not put on but now I'm put on and I'm about to put y'all on okay um so yeah you just do the same thing brush it and put everything all in a ponytail so yeah that's what I'm doing now Okay, so now that we got to this point we're almost finished so now I'm taking my favorite my all times best edge gel that would never get oily that would never move that would just stay where it's at my got to be glue the yellow bottle not the black one the yellow one as as shown on the video you got to get the yellow one because the yellow one it gives you this tacky I don't know what it is guys it works so well with my hair whenever I do any type of edge my baby hairs it would not the same way I put it when I'm in the house and I'm going I was gonna be the same way I come back I'm not gonna do that regular edge baby hair type of stuff that a lot of youtubers do because the way my head is shaped I can't do that like I would look like a damn bowling ball <laughs> So, as you can tell, you see that I'm, like, molding my hair a different way. Like, it's like a swirly type of... I don't know what it is. You can see right here. Like, I'm putting that all in. Like, pushing the front back. And I'm taking the comb of my edge brush. And I'm putting... I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. But you could tell by what I'm doing. 
And the reason, like I said again, the reason why I do that is because my head is shaped differently. I have a big ass head. <laughs> and I just, I just had to figure out a way that would make my bun appear way more nicer with the size head that I have. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm taking my free spray. I know I didn't state that's what you needed in the beginning, but I kind of forgot. But I use the free sprays just to get like an extra hole, the same way like a lot of people use like Sprit. And is it called Spritz? Yeah, Spritz. And I'm taking my silk scarf, you know, to mold your hair. Cause if you don't use a, a silk scarf after, your hair would not like, it just, I don't know what you're doing. You just gotta use it, like this is a step. I'm gonna leave that on for 15 minutes. Hey guys, so this is the end result of, you know, the process of me molding everything we only have one more step, which is to put the um, the actual bun in the back of our hair. So I'm taking this bun. I think I got this from the beauty supply store. I think it was only for like a dollar or whatever. And then you want to take your rubber band, the long one, and tie it twice to hide your hair under the bun. Yeah, something simple. It don't got to be perfect. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is the end result. I love my hair so much. My bun never looked this good. This is probably one of the best bun style I've ever did. Um, yeah guys, look at me feeling myself. Period girl, get it. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the end result of my hair my bun this is like whenever i'm not wearing any weave or anything or wig this is the style that i would typically do um very simple classy i already know that's what i like i like simple and classy elegant um so if you have really thick really thick hair i would suggest you to do this type of method instead of just like Putting, putting your hair in a ponytail and then putting everything all in a bun because it's not going to be slick. It's not going to be as sleek as you want it to. Um, so yeah, I would suggest you to do a my style. Uh, this is so nice, y'all. Anyways, if you guys want me to do like a makeup tutorial, let me know down below what you guys think of this hairstyle because I'm feeling it. And if you guys watched the entire video up until this point, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so, so, so much for all the support. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe so that you guys all join my family. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you guys are notified whenever I drop a new video. Peace out, y'all.